Hey everybody, it's Tristan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm here bringing you guys a video that is the first video of a 12 part series here on my channel. So I was recently trying to figure out some video ideas for my channel and my mom came up with the idea to do a makeup look inspired by each of the 12 days of Christmas. So there's the song the 12 days of Christmas and I'm sure you guys know of like the partridge in the pear tree and all that kind of stuff. So that is what this series is based off of and this first look today is inspired by the first line of the song which is the partridge in the pear tree. The partridge is actually a fairly bland bird it's just brown so that's where all the brown inspiration came from and then they're in a pear tree so that's where the green came from so it's a very simple look and all the looks that I'm planning are fairly simple some of them are a little bit more out there but some are more toned down such as this this is not extremely crazy or anything but I'm very excited for this series and every once in a while I think I'll have someone on my channel and I'll do the look on them as opposed to me just so I can mix it up a bit and I just think it'll be fun to have more people on my channel so this is the first look that we're doing today and I really really love how this look turned out I think it's super fun and super pretty and very very doable but yeah guys that is the plan for today's video so without further ado let's get right into it and also before I forget the shirt that I'm wearing right now is my shirt it is currently available and in stock just in time for the holidays so if you have not yet picked one up definitely be sure to do that I will leave a link for it down in the description box below if you are interested and if you do get it be sure to tag me in pictures of your confirmation order or if you already have it pictures of you wearing it and I will be sure to go and like your guys's posts and that is on Instagram by the way just Letting you know. But yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so first off, we're gonna be going in with the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer. Um, I should probably move up my hat. Uh, my hair is very long right now, and it's just kind of a mess, and I didn't really want to try to do it, so I'm just gonna wear a hat. Hopefully that's all right, because that's just how things are gonna work, and I have to have it like pushed back so I can like get my forehead and stuff, so this looks really weird right now, but. So once we have a couple pumps of that, I'm just gonna take it, and I'm going to massage it all over my face and on my neck. Then we're going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation, and I am in the shade 150. And I don't know if I want to go in with the foundation brush or a beauty blender right now. In my opinion, you do kind of get a better finish with the brush, but it's just harder to clean. But whatever, we'll just use it. We want to look as flawless as we can, so we'll just put in the extra work to clean the brush afterwards. So I'll just take some of the foundation and put it right on the brush, and then I will just start applying it to my face. And I'm going to be doing my face in sections because this foundation does dry fairly quickly so I just want to make sure that it looks as good as it possibly can. And we're gonna try to cover up some blemishes that I have over here. Lovely little things that I wish I wasn't having to deal with, but I unfortunately am. Alrighty then I'm gonna go ahead and take some Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray and just do a couple little spritz just to set the foundation. During my makeup routine, I really wanna make sure that my makeup does not go anywhere. So after like pretty much every step involving my face, I do a little bit of setting spray. Then I'll be taking some of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Light One Chantilly. And I'm just going to take that, dab it on the bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, and under eyes. Then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out. Then I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Universal Blotting Powder, and I'm going to take, uh, if I can find the brush, where did I put the brush? It's down here. I'm going to take this brush right here, do a few swipes of that, and I'm going to pack that on my under eyes and on my nose and any other problem areas where I have pores. This will really help to blur those and make your face look really, really good. Like, this is an amazing item that if you don't have, I really recommend getting. At first, I didn't really think that it was anything too special, but this helps blur my face an extreme amount, and I love it. Because no one needs those pores popping through. Then for the face, we're gonna be doing a little bit of contouring, and for that, I'm gonna be diving into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. It is extremely good and extremely reliable, and I just really, really love it. But actually, um, I'm ahead of myself. Before we do that, I'm going to set my face with some Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. We just gotta make sure that this does not go anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush that I used for the Fenty Beauty Blotting Powder, and I'm just going to take some of this, and I'm literally going to pack it all over my face, and it's getting all over my shirt, so that that's cool. But I just want to make sure that everything on my face is super set. That way when I go in to blend my contour and stuff, it actually blends because sometimes I have found that if my face is not very, very set, then the powder will not blend. It'll just like pick up my foundation and everything will look a mess. So I'm going to make sure that that does not happen today and I'm just going to set literally everything. Oh no, all over my shirt. Why am I not surprised? I'm literally wearing all black right now, guys. Like. Cool! I just spit. <coughs> ah! 
Uh, okay, that was fun. So we're just gonna let this sit here and bake our faces real quick And then once that's all done, I will be right back and we will continue with the face Just waiting for the place that I belong I'm a satellite I'm a satellite I'm on the outside looking in They don't know just where I've been This song is so good. Gabby, mmm. Alrighty, now that that's all set, we're going to take this huge brush and I am just going to brush all of the excess powder away. Alrighty, awesome. And then we're going to take more setting spray and set all of that. Alrighty, then we're finally gonna be going in with this contour palette and I'm gonna be going in with this little angled brush right here and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, the most cool tone contouring shade in the palette. Do a one, two dab there, kick off the excess and just start right here, kind of like at my hair and then just drag it in lightly, just with some back and forth motions and blend that out. We'll take it up here a little bit on the temples and we'll hit the other side right here and just do the same thing. Then I'm going to hit the forehead and try to make it appear a little bit smaller than it is because I'm like borderline joining the five headed club if we're being totally honest right now. Then I'll take some and drag it under my jaw right here to make it look like we have an even more defined jawline and we'll just blend that down. Alrighty, cool. We have a little bit of life to us now. We don't look so flat, which is definitely a good thing. Then I'm going to be taking a little bit of blush, and I'm going to go in with the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Blossom Time Rose. I've had this for a while, actually, and... I don't really use it all that often, not because it's not a good blush, I mean there's pigment and it's pretty nice, I just don't really use blush all that often and my makeup looks period. But it's the holidays and it's kind of chilly outside, so I'm sure people would have a little bit of pinkness to their face, so for this look at least, we are going to add just a little bit of blush because we can. So I guess I'm going to take this big brush, no, well, no, I'm going to take this one that we use for powder. And I'm going to go in there a little bit and just hit the apples of my cheeks. I mean, I see a little bit of something happening here. It's nothing like super crazy, but um, it's giving us a little something, at least in person. It has like a kind of gold sheen to it. I don't know if you can tell, but then we are going to take a more setting spray. This they're, we're setting our face a lot in this. And there is our base pretty much done, guys. And now we're gonna move on to the eyes. So for our eye look today, we're gonna be going in with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Collaboration Palette. This is a definite favorite of mine. I use this all the time for my eye looks because it's just so versatile. Like any look that I want to do, I can pretty much do with this palette. Like 90% of the time, this palette is incorporated into my eye look. But this is what we're gonna be using today. So, <laughs> Shocker, we're gonna go in with this little Morphe blending brush and we're gonna go into this shade right here, which is the transition color that I love and will definitely be the color that I hit pan on first. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pop that right into my crease and blend that up and out. And like I said, today's eye look is going to be a very brown and green base to go with the whole partridge and a pear tree theme. So this brown tannish transition color will go nicely with that. Should I do my eyebrows right now or should I wait? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do brows real quick because I'm all over the place and I don't know how to do a tutorial right, apparently. So I'm gonna grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown and I'm just going to spoolie my brows up a bit and then I'm going to fill these puppies in. On the real though, I need to go and get my eyebrows waxed or threaded or something again because they're getting a little wild and I am not down for that. During the holidays, I need to have some snatched brows 24 seven without having to like fill them in and shape them to look that way. So I'm gonna have to make an appointment soon. Oh, that was really, ah, mm, whoops. I color in too aggressively, then I drop things. Alrighty, there we go. Nothing crazy, just a little bit of oomph for our brows. Glorious, brows are done. Now we can continue on with the eyeshadow. And to continue on, I'm going to go in with this color right here below the transition that we used. I'm just going to dab in that once, and I'm just going to put that into the crease and blend up and out. Then I'll be going in with this dark brown chocolatey color right here, and just do the same thing. There's some freaking color, oh my god. We're gonna really have to blend this one. We'll get those windshield wipers going on full speed.
And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Oh, it's so scary. It's like so dark. Alrighty guys, and then for the lower lash line, we're gonna go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to take this light brown shade that we used earlier under the transition color. And I'm going to get it on this blunt little brush right here. And I'm going to drag that on the lower lash line all the way into the inner corner. And then we're gonna take this dark brown shade that we use, dab a little bit of that, and then put that on the outer corner of the eye and just blend it out and concentrate it in that area. And then I'm gonna take this dark green shade right here, get a little bit of that on that blunt brush, and I'm going to take it right in the middle of my lower lash line and just blend that out in all directions. Mm, just stabbed my eye, that's awesome. My eyes are like really watering and I'm kind of dying right now, so that's Cool. Now that the lower lash line is done, we are going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just gonna take my finger and go into this really beautiful, shimmery, metallic green color. Look at that. That is stunning. I love this color. I am a sucker for green eyeshadows. They are some of my literal favorites. Then I'm gonna take that blending brush that we've been using this entire time and I'm going to blend out those edges and kind of blend the green into the brown. And just make sure that there are no harsh lines. B-E-A-U-tiful. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. Then I'll be taking the Benefit Roller Lash and I am going to coat my lashes in this. I mean, obviously, that's what you do with mascara. Ooh, oh my God, this looks so cool. Very like dark and smoky and dramatic, but like, oh, it's so easy and it's so fun and so pretty. And I'm in love with this eye look, honestly. It's like very, very fun in my opinion. And um, I'm an idiot and mm, I'm dropping everything. Okay. I'm stupid and I totally forgot to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Like, what am I even doing? Okay, we're gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette, duh and take this shade right here, and I'm going to pack that into the inner corner. Ooh, hello, yes please, and thank you. And then I will dab that on the brow bone as well. And there we have it, the eyes are done. Uh, the lips are feeling really crusty right now, good thing I have lip scrub. And guys, next up we are gonna be doing highlight, and what am I gonna use, okay. So for that today, I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star's Skin Frost in the shade Eclipse. It's a very pretty champagne-y muted kind of pink color. I personally really enjoy this. Then I'm just gonna take this little fan brush right here, do a few swipes and hit that cheekbone. Whenever I'm using a fan brush, I always have to go in more and do more swipes on my face. Like they just don't apply it as well as like a more compact brush. But the brush that I usually use for that is red at the moment because my friend used it and she used red eyeshadow and I haven't cleaned it and I don't want a red streak down my face. So we're just going to work with what we've got. Uh, there we go, beautiful. And then I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose and I'll also hit my cupid's bow. And for lips today, oh, my favorite part. Well, first off, we're gonna go in with some lip scrub. and. For for that, I'll be going in with the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in the flavor Peach Popsicle. Um, one of my favorites of his. It's delicious. I'm obsessed. I love it. Don't know why I put on highlighter on my cupid's bow. feel like I'm about to just lick it off. Now for lips. I have so many options. I honestly have no idea what to do. Maybe some Kylie. We could do hazel, perhaps. Ooh, I think I like that. Do you guys like that? You can't answer me um, right now. I'm stupid. Like either hazel or some Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You know what? I'm gonna call my mom and ask her opinion on it because I honestly have no idea what to do. Alrighty, so um, my mother has spoken. She thought that the shade Siren's Jewel from the Wet n Wild Midnight Mermaid collection would look really good. So we're gonna try it. And if it doesn't look good and I don't like it, we'll see how Hazel looks. Bada bing, bada boom. Here is that on my lips. Do I like it? I think it's a really fun color and I do like it, but looking at it right now next to my eyes, I feel like it's washing out the green of my eyes. Like this is a very, very beautiful green color, but next to this, which is just like super intense, a part of me feels like it's too much. I'm gonna try on Hazel and then we're gonna see. Alrighty guys, so I just went downstairs and showed my mom the makeup with the green lipstick and she said that she liked it, but she almost thought that this brown would look better and I agree. So this is one of Kylie's new fall lipsticks in the shade Hazel. I really like this color and I think it'll look good with this. So let's see how she looks.
already and there is shade hazel on my lips I really really like this combo I think the browns really complement each other and I think this lipstick really brings out the vibrancy of this green eyeshadow I really like this I think this shade is the winner for this look and yeah that is finished look number one of 12 for the 12 days of Christmas series that I am doing here on my channel um I really hope you guys enjoyed this this was a lot of fun to do I really 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 like how this look turned out oh and by the way I changed my hat as I'm sure you could see um but yeah guys I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like and a comment and all that good stuff also subscribe if you have not already and turn on my post notifications so you can be notified every time that I release a new video also be sure to follow me on all my social medias they will be in the description box down below and be sure to stay tuned because I have a lot more looks coming in this series that I hope you guys are as excited for as I am so yeah those will be coming very soon probably there will more than likely be a look about every other day something like that I'm assuming that's how I'll do this um but yeah guys I I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.